Hey, thanks for joining today. Our theme today for our bar class is going to be all about the sides. So we're gonna be working a lot of our side body here, working our obliques and our core, working the outside of, uh, of your legs, um, just working on some lateral motions here. So let's start our warm up with an alternating single leg Romanian deadlift. So we're gonna work a little bit on our balance. We're gonna hinge from the hips reaching down toward the floor, standing up, keeping that straight line from the heel to the top of the head, hinging here, nice. Keep that going. Keep working on that balance, keep hinging forward, you should be feeling a little more confident in this movement, a little more grounded, a little more limber. Let's do a couple more on each side. One more set. Nice, good job starting that one sided work at a time. Let's come into a hip circle march. So we're gonna circle that leg in the hip socket, really keep it going up and around all the way through, really nice. And if you'd like to bring that a little bit further, you can extend your arms and bring this into a kick, extending that leg, kicking all the way through that circle, nice control. We are moving pretty quickly, but it's a deliberate motion through that range of motion rather than just a kick. Four, four, three, two, last one, and done. All right, let's finish our warm up with some chair squat hip sways. So we're gonna bring our feet, thighs, Legs zipped up together, lifting that rib cage up off the waist, engaging the core. We're going to sit down in this squat and we're just gonna shimmy those hips side to side. Just getting a little warm up here in these obliques. They're shortening, tightening. That's what moves those hips side to side for four. Three, two, and one. Rise it up. Let's get our weights. Time for our arm series. We're going to start with an overhead reach rope climb. So we've got those weights. Reach up, 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 up. So our hips are firmly locked into place. We're reaching from the waist, feeling again that core engage. Engage those obliques, engage your center core to stabilize your body, keeping yourself very upright, not leaning forward. Reaching up as high as you can with those weights for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, let's stay all on one side. Last one, this side, arm stays parallel with the floor, reach. Two, three, four, five. Again, hinging at that waist, seven and eight. Other side, reach. Two, engaging the core, three, four, going up and over with that rib cage. Six, seven, Eight, let's come to our pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. We're going to come into some uh, bicep press outs. So we've got our feet parallel right underneath our hips, 
standing up tall, lift that rib cage up off the waist, reaching those arms out, reach, reach to the side. So keeping the tension on that muscle, shoulders down away from the ears. Great job. Keep that going. Your bicep should be kicking in just about now. Reach, reach, and reach. Shoulder blades down the back. Reach, reach, reach. Now let's alternate. Both arms stay out, in, and in. Nice. Side to side movement here. A little bit of body destabilizing with that asymmetry, tapping that elbow into the side and then extending the arm out again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep those arms out, up, down, just a little bit up, down, just a few inches up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Even with just these little weights, you can really get into your muscles here. We're going to come into our triceps, uh, feet under hip, skier position, soft knees, hinging from the hip, roll the shoulder blades down the back, lift those arms up above the glutes, pulse, pulse, pulse. Head in line with that tailbone, not, not letting the head drop. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeezing the shoulder blades together a little bit to keep that chest open, keeping the shoulders back. Nice open chest for eight, seven, six, five, four, we're not gonna be done, three, two, one. Now come in, 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 in. Nice job, in, 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 in. Keeping those hands above the booty, if you can. Keeping those shoulder blades retracted, drying into one another, strong core. Keeping a nice straight spine for eight, seven, six, not gonna be done. Four, three, two, one. Now up and in, up and in, up and in, up and in. For four, three, two, and one. Bring those weights down. <laughs> Really good. Coming into our side raises. So again, reset those feet under the hips. Long column of your body here. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Starting with some nice, simple, full range side raises. Good work here happening in your back, happening here along the side of your rib cage all those little muscles, working hard, keeping those shoulder blades down, 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 keeping them pushed down throughout that movement. Try to set them down in your back pocket. When you reach the apex of that lift, four, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna come into an alternating raise and reach, raise and reach, raise and reach. So we've got those hips locked in place. This reach is happening with the rib cage from the waist, raise and reach, raise and reach. Let's make it more, more fluid here, raise and the movement. That rib cage isolation happening at the same time as the raise. Let's make it a little harder. Both arms up, reach and down, reach. There we go. 
So a reach, keeping that arm up while the other arm is coming down. Reach, reach, reach for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's come to some chest work. We're gonna do some standing chest rows. Reset your posture, roll the shoulder blades down, engage that core, lifting up to the front, rowing to that chest. Elbows stay parallel to the floor. Shoulders stay down away from the ears. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach back, reach, reach, reach. So we're doing a little twist from the waist, not swiveling at the hips, but again, working on that rib cage isolation, this time twisting to the back so rather than reaching to the side. Reach for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Our last arm move, we're gonna come into our flies. So again, ski your position, feet under hips, strong engaged core, nice straight spine, soft knee, hinge at the hip, roll the shoulder blades down, soft elbows as we raise into our fly here. At the top of the fly, we're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Work that back, work those shoulders, but we've already done a lot of work for our shoulders. So let's try to keep this work in the back. Squeeze, 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 and squeeze. Nice job. Squeeze, 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 and squeeze. Let's do what we did with uh, those side rays. We're gonna keep one arm up and down, other side down. So the non-working arm is staying up in this raise. Big squeeze as those arms come up to meet at the top for eight, squeeze seven, squeeze, six, squeeze, five, squeeze, four, three, two, and one. Weights down, you made it. We're gonna do our bar series now. We're gonna start in the center floor without our bar. Get your two paper plates or uh, if you're on a hard floor wearing your socks or using towels or anything you can to kind of get yourself some, uh, to reduce the friction on your surface. We are going to start with our feet really close together. We've got our thighs squeezed together. We're gonna come down into this squat. We're gonna front, side, back, and side, other side, front, side, back, and side, other side again. So we're staying down in this squat throughout this movement, front, side, back, and side. Stay down here, keep the tension going in those glutes. Nice, strong core, front, side, back, and side. If this is not working for you, you can of course use your chair or whatever you're using for a bar for balance, front, side, back, and side. Keep this tension going, two more sets. Side, back, and side, front, side, back and side, last set, front, side, 
back side, front, side, back, and side. Now we're focusing today on our sides. So let's do some reps just on our sides. Reset yourself, coming back down into the squat side. Two, we're gonna do a countdown. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side for seven, six, five, four. Make sure you haven't come up out of that squat. Three, two, and one. Other side for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we go to six, five, nice. Stay down in that squat, not bending over at the waist. And one and six, five. So you're strong through the head and shoulders, not dropping the head. Three, two, and one. Now we go to five, four, three, two, and one. Engaged core, five, four, three, two, and one, now four, three, two, and one, and four, three. You should feel it kicking in here on the sides of the glutes. And one, now three, two, and one, three, two, one, two, one, two. One, now as we do this side to side, try to keep those hips in the same place. Try not to sway side to side, but keeping all of the work right here in the glutes, in the quads, in those inner thighs. Side for four, three, two, and one. Rise it up, great job. That was a long sequence. Putting one of your plates to the side or gliders. We are going to pull out our chair now. We are going to um, start with the glider under one foot. Feet are parallel. We're going to lift that back leg. A little, there we go. Lift that back leg behind and we're going to glide over to the side. So back leg up to the side. That leg is staying in the same spot in place, in space. So we're trying not to let it kind of joggle up and down, trying to keep a steady position for it. The leg rotates in the hip socket as you come up to the front. Nice, eight, seven, six, keep that leg up there, five. The height is not as important as just keeping it in the same place. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, let's come to the other side. I'm going to switch this so I don't have my back to you. Coming to rest on that bar, hinging over here. Hinging over and now opening to the side. Feeling that leg rotate in the hip socket so that the top of the foot when you come out to the side, is pointing up to the sky. You're in your ballet turnout. And lift. Back. And lift. Nice. For eight. 
seven, really working to keep that leg up. Six, feel that core engage as you spin on that standing foot. Four, three, two, and one. Open to the side. Really good. Okay, let's put those gliders to the side. I'm going to come back to center floor, but you can use your chair for balance. Just keep one hand on your chair if you would like for balance. We're going to do some first position plies asymmetric. So we'll start with arms out in second, feet in first position. When we come into our plie, those knees are coming straight over the toes. You should be able to see your big toes in between your knees. Tall, straight spine, not bending forward. Nice head and shoulders straight to the sky. So let's pop one heel up and we're going to plie on the standing leg. Plie, nice. For eight, seven, make sure that knee is pointing straight over the toes. Five, four, standing straight up. Three, two, and one. Switch heels. Plie. Now, my plie is not as deep on this side because of several surgeries I have had on my ankle. Go as deep into that plie as you can while keeping your heel on the floor. Four, four, three, two, and one. Now we're switching side to side. Plie, plie, plie. Alternate popping that heel up off the floor, working on keeping that head and shoulders straight up to the sky not bending at the waist for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both heels together. Let's walk those heels together. We're going to rise up into our releve. We're going to stay here. We're maybe going to do some port de bras. So if you've got one hand on the bar, you'll just do it with one hand. If you're out in center floor, we'll do it with both hands. So we're going to keep those heels locked together. Come down into this plie. Arms up. Back to second. Back to first. Side. On up. Side. And down. Nice. Keeping those heels locked together. Pay attention to what's happening with your knees. Make sure that they are going straight out over those toes. Let's bring the arms up through the center and up, center and down. Nice. This makes it a little harder to catch your balance. And down, center, and up because we don't have as wide of a base to work from. Our body weight is all concentrated in this one column. Four, four, three, two, arms out in second. Let's hold here. Eight, seven six, five, four, three. We're not going to be done. One, now pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep this pulse going. Heels lifted high, squeezing those heels together. Beautiful. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise it up. Awesome. Shake those legs out. That was another long series. Let's work on some lateral lunges. We're going to start on one side. We're working our side. We're doing our side work today. So let's step out, lunge, 
rise up. So trying to catch your balance at the top, nice lunge here and then press up, press up. Feet are parallel, we're not in our turnout for this one. Nice, pushing that booty back behind when we come into this lateral lunge for four, three, two, one, stay down here and pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push up, come back to the center. We're gonna come to the other side. Lunge, push up, lunge, rise up to catch that balance, if you can. If that is not working for you, definitely use your bar for balance. You'll have it set right there and put your hand up on it at the top. And rise, down and rise, keep it going. For four, three, two, last one. Come down here, let's pulse, pulse, pulse. Pushing that glute back way, way, way behind you for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push up, come to the center, shake it out. Time to come down to the mat for our core series. Put out your mat, feel free to take a drink of water if you need one. Sure. Great. We're gonna uh, start with a supported boat. So we're gonna have our feet on the floor for this boat. Uh, you can have your hands on the floor as well, although that will make the move a little bit tricky. So the goal here is to have your hands kind of at heart center. We're going to lift one leg and twist toward it. Twist and twist. So the harder, you want to make it, has to do with how high you lift that leg and how far back you are leaning into this boat. Most important part is a nice straight line from the tailbone to the top of your head. So don't try to get any fancier than you can while maintaining that nice spinal alignment. You should be feeling plenty of work here with this twist. You can try to twist more, bring that elbow to the outside of the knee while keeping your hands at heart center, not cheating by moving the hands from side to side. Twist, twist, and twist. Nice job, twist. Nice variation here of the Russian twist. I do love the Russian twist, but it has a bit more hip flexor work involved and you could kind of lose the core aspect. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one for our pulse. You can stay here with feet down or you can lift the feet up. And we're gonna pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, feet together, a little bit of a butterfly stretch here. Push the tailbone down into the mat. Lift head and shoulders up to the sky. 
Knees are pressing down to the outside. Just taking a little bit of a stretch here, getting ready for our next move, which is going to be a clamshell. So we're gonna come down on our side. You can use your arm as a pillow or you can prop your head up in your arm. Feet are in line with the glutes, knees bent, hand on top hip, hips straight up and down, keeping the feet together, open that top knee. So it's really important that this top hip doesn't open up to the back because it's so much easier to do this exercise if it does. You wanna push it forward, forward, forward. You should almost feel like you're out of parallel to the front to make sure that you're getting the maximum work here in these glutes with this clamshell. Holding onto the core, lots of work going on everywhere, like from here to here in your body. Lots of work, four, three, two, one, keeping that top hip way forward, pulse, 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 keep that leg up, keep that knee up, pulse, 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 for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, roll to the other side, get set up, choose your head position, heels in line with the glutes, pushing that top hip almost forward, opening up into our full range clamshell here, core engaged, top hand giving you a nice reminder about that front hip position, feel it being a challenge, if it's easy, it might be because you've let that top hip open up. Lift, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that knee up, pulse, pulse, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Roll on your back, grab your knees, rock side to side. Give yourself a little stretch. Now, if you would like, you can have your weights handy for this next move. They are totally optional. We're going to be doing a full sit up with legs extended and a twist at the top. So feet are about hip distance apart. Arms are starting up and they're gonna stay up. So you're gonna move through your shoulders to keep those arms up in the air, twist to one side, roll down. This is a nice roll through all of your vertebra, twist to the other side, roll down. Now you can just grab those weights if you would like. These might get a little bit harder to push up, twist. Roll, tucking your pelvis to start that roll. <sighs> Lifting head and shoulders up off the mat to start the lift, tucking the pelvis to start the roll. So lift those head and shoulders up, pointing the toes to keep those legs engaged. Trying to keep them glued to the mat. If you can't keep them glued to the mat, and they're kind of lifting up, you can bend the knees and have the feet flat on the mat. That gives you a little bit more of an anchor position. So just choose whichever one works for you. Roll down, up, and twist. Roll down, tuck that pelvis. Two more sets. Untwist. Roll down. Up. And twist. Roll down. Last set. Up. And twist. Roll down. 
up and twist. Roll down. Let's finish this up by coming up to the top and doing our twist to each side. So eight, seven, six, five, really twisting that rib cage. Three, two, and one. Other side twist, eight, seven, six, five, feeling that core engaged here. Three, two, one. Slow roll down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights to the side. Reach your arms behind you. Nice pencil stretch. Elongate the body. Stretch that spine. Feel a good stretch here on your core. Reaching one side and then the other. Slowly roll yourself back up. We're going to come into a side plank on our knee. So our knee is in line with our hip, which is in line with our elbow. Uh, the top leg will be extended. We're going to lift up into this plank. We're going to lift that top leg in the air. Feel this core engage to lift that leg into the air. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one leg stays up, pulse, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Leg extended. You can extend the bottom leg now. We're going to do some pulses with our hips. Pulse, 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 pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one, set it down. Coming to the other side, starting on that knee plank, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow in line, lifting up, lift that leg, leg raises. Keeping the hips straight up and down, eight, seven, six, five, Feel the work happening. Three, two, one. Pulse now for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can extend both legs or stay on that one knee. Pulse, pulse, pulsing those hips up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit it down, roll back, hold on to those knees, rock side to side. One last core move before we come into our stretch. So let's roll all the way through. You're going to be in a modified bird dog position. So let's start with our knees under our hips, hands under our shoulders. And we're gonna come down onto our elbows, one leg up into the air, knee at 90 degrees, raise up, pushing that heel up to the sky. Push, push, push for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keeping that knee up. Now we're gonna open up the hip, cross the leg over and back to square. Lift and down, lift and down. Using your core to control that lift. If you weren't engaging your muscles, you just topple all the way around in a circle. So you definitely are working if you haven't done that. Square, lift, square for four, Three, two, and one. Let's combine up and open, up and open. Try not to let that knee come 
too low, trying to stay in parallel, not coming close to the mat, and open for four, three, two, and one, and open, coming to the other side, starting with just that 90 degree knee, raising that heel toward the sky. This should feel super simple after what we just finished doing on the other side. Heel up to the sky for four, three, two, and one. Now open the hip, cross the leg over, bring it back. Open the hip, square it up. Cross and square, across and square. Feel your core work cross and square for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Combine of movements up and over, up and over up and over, up and over, keeping that heat high in the air, four more, three, not letting that knee come too close to the mat, two, last one, and over. <laughs> Push back into a child's pose. Toes together, big toes together, knees opened up. Let's open those knees really wide to the edge of the mat. Pushing, fingertips are spread, pushing back through the hips to get a nice stretch back there. A little stretch in the glutes in the lower back. Walking, so plant your right hand a little bit to the right of your body. Walk your left hand over, put it on top of that right hand. Feel the stretch all along the left side of the body. Nice. And then walk over so that the left hand is a little bit to the left of the body. Right hand on top of the left hand. Nice elongating stretch on the left side. Still continuing to push back through those hips. Walk both hands back to the center. This time, take that left hand and thread it through the right arm. Move your gaze so that you're looking under that right arm. Nice stretch across the back and in the left shoulder. Reach that left hand through, through, through. And switch hands, thread the right arm underneath the left, looking under that left arm. Both hands back to center one more time, push back. And slowly come back up to hands and knees, coming all the way through onto your back. So a little more hip stretch here. Let's put this right uh, ankle below the left knee or above it. I don't know how you wanted to find it, just not on the knee. Reaching through to grab that right leg. You can have the right knee bent or you can straighten that right leg, reach for the calf the ankle, whatever gives you the stretch that you are looking for. Nice stretch in that hip. A little bit of a stretch in the hamstring if you've got your left leg fully extended. And 
And let's switch to the other side, reaching through. You can stay here or you can extend that right leg this time. Reach for the leg. That left knee open, open, open. Not letting it try to come back toward the right side of the body, but pressing it toward the back of the room. And roll yourself out of that, roll up to sitting. Feet planted uh, on the mat, hands planted on the mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. No head rush. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. Come out into your super wide second position. Inhale up, exhale down to this nice plie. Inhale up, exhale. Feel your breathing slow, feel your heart rate slow. One more time. Big breath, lots of oxygen. And exhale. Ladies, take your curtsy. Gentlemen, take your bow. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great afternoon.